Just because my husband surprised me and came to our beach house? We're like swingers or something? That's the way you make it sound. You act like Michael was really trying to get in your panties that night, okay? <laughs> That's what you act like. <laughs> You're very judgmental. Baby, I'm only judging what you give me. Karen, you are the diva extraordinaire, so you could be sitting. I am. I you could be sitting all the way in the kid corner. Is everything. You're the baddest I, one, right? I got you a gift, though. It's a lovely gift. You're gonna love it. Why don't you open it? Thank you. Oh, absolutely. You'll appreciate it. I will. It's the five rules of etiquette when attending a birthday party. <laughs> Let's open. It. Let's open it. Let's go through the rules. I, I'm, I'm a good sport. Be a good sport. I'm a good sport. I don't have a problem with Giselle. I actually like her, but she's irritating. And as her friend, it's my responsibility, if she doesn't know any better, to teach her better. Now, by the way, if you check the frame out, it has a mirror. Yes, it does. And you can look at yourself as you read it. Okay. okay. For guests when attending a birthday party. Yeah. Okay. Host should always be in charge. Not that you. That was Cherise. You were the guest. The host was late. The Never mind, but the host was the in host charge. The host was late. Okay. So when the late host got there, she didn't say nothing about where I was sitting. But or I find Katie, it interesting that you felt the need to Not sit done. in the center. Not there done. were five other women, and yes, none of them wanted to sit in the center but to... you. Your I'm just saying. Before the birthday honoree arrives, if we waited for you, we'd have never ate. Well, you were first like of all, three hours late. I, no, no, we'd no. have never ate. No, no, sweetheart. Thirty minutes night. late is not three hours home. late. You're, you're exaggerating. You were not thirty minutes late. It was thirty minutes, which is par for the course if you okay. know anything about etiquette. I would have moved for you, Karen, but open your mouth and say that. But don't not say anything, and then afterwards have a fit over where you were sitting. Now that's acting like a child, Miss Etiquette. Sherman's ass. Just so you know. Did you invite me? I'm not messy. I don't, I don't do that like that. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. I, I, I didn't know that she was going to be here, so I'm like, oh. Karen invited her. Say it again. Who invited her? Karen. 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 I thought Karen and Giselle were better friends. It's kind of like, oh, y'all not cool? OK. Karen has absolutely no idea that Sherman and I just broke up. I could have just cut that tension with her. And where's your lovely wife? So for her to invite Sherman's horse face ex-wife, Karen's on a whole new level of messiness. Hi, I'm Carson. Hey, I'm Robin. Nice to have, meet um, you. You look fabulous. Oh, uh, so we're going to go to the situation. Right? No, yes. we're not going now. But you'll wait until the dinner's over. Oh, no. Well, we can talk now, then. Okay. No, we're done. We're done. She said, what are you doing and why? Robin and I would like to talk to you. We don't want to talk to you in front of your guests. We, it's not going to happen. Have a situation security. Wrong. Security. So let's go to the situation. Hold on. Get security. These two need to go. The two of them, Robin and Giselle. I want them out because their heart is not in the right place. They came in here with raggedy jeans on. The fact that you demand me to do something now at the time of my event sends off alarms. The two blondes, I want them out. Oh, Hegra Charity Dinner is in memory of my mother-in-law. Aunt Dot, the matriarch of our family, is there. This is personal to me. Get the hell out of here. I want you to understand me clearly when I say this. You talked about the fact that you and Michael do the pull-out method. I suggest you let him stay in. Ejaculate, procreate. Do not ever, ever put my child's name in your mouth again. I can't. I can't. I won't. I'm not. It's too much. Calm no, down. no, I Calm am. Down. Down. Oh, 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 Karen, the Grand Dame of Potomac doesn't speak like that. You said, you said, you said, you said, right about now, you need oh, to breathe. Okay, no, okay, 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 you just yeah, lost it. Please, okay. Please. <clears throat> so, no. Miss Ashley, clearly, need to speak to that. You okay? You want to take a sip? I'm not mad. Here in this okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm over here just oh, chilling. Right, I'm, I'm giving you the best. You don't have reserves. As a mother. You don't I'm have reserves. I'm sorry. You're right. Okay. It was not about Raven in any capacity. It was about me and how you view me as a person. When we played golf, you were making some comments about my marriage and about my relationship with my husband. We all know you're a freak. We're not sweet here or anything. No, but just a little bit of a freak. Though. Basically insinuating that we there's like something off about us. Like we're some ratchet you, characters or some. Just because my husband surprised me and came to our beach house. We're like swingers or something? That's the way you make it sound. You act like Michael was really trying to get in your panties that night, okay? <laughs> That's what you act like. <laughs> You're very judgmental. Baby, I'm only judging what you give me. 
I've been very forthcoming that I have problems in my marriage. You, you, have. you need oh, to try it. When I first met Karen, she gave me this whole list of things that I should and shouldn't do in order to fit into Potomac society. In Potomac, the women especially, you know, we've earned our position. So it's respect that gets you into the circle. Your life was falling apart right as you were trying to tell me how to live mine. Now, I'm feeling a little duped. Life is a struggle, Ashley. There are good days, there are bad days. Bad years, bad decades, what do you need? You obsess with my life. Get over me. Karen, you talk such a big game, girl. Girl, ain't nobody talking no game. Give you a few bottles of champagne and you act like you're Oh, Beyonce. Uh, you okay. know what, listen, it's all it's good, Ashley. Enough. We're done, we're done, baby. You may be like... Your old book I saw yesterday, like bye. A, you know, a broke version of Tina Knowles. Oh, jeez. Woo, this is getting good. Oh, you were no broke. Your husband not only kicked your ass out, he moved you a mile down the street from your sweat box and put your ass in the studio. Karen, do you really want to go there, Karen? Your husband talked to my husband, and you don't want to know what he said. Oh, no, let me tell you, I did talk to my husband. And so I called him and told him what you told me. And Ray says, I'm ready to semi-retire. He is. He's going to be 71. He says, I'm looking for a place here and a place that you got the Florida part right. You just found that out last night? No, no, baby. I knew it all along. I wanted to hear it from my husband because she said he said he wanted to leave me. No, he said he's going to Florida with or without you. No, definitely. Meaning you weren't an integral part of the equation. No, that's not what he said. He just didn't want to hurt your feelings. I believe he Ray didn't all want to day hurt your over Michael and you. But Ray shouldn't believe Trust you. Trust and believe. You take your fake marriage and ram it up your ass, OK? Your husband always crying when he's around you. You make him miserable. I leave my institution alone. It's well established. Karen, you're a blatant liar. What you do is you sneak into situations, get close, so you can get some information and go put a fake oh, news spin on it. I'm done of, with your ass, there OK? There are a lot of things oh, about you that I haven't seen. I'm still standing. You, where and you, you at? I hope you continue I'm, to. I'm, I will, boo-boo. Normally, when you go to a vacation of some sort uh, and you get a welcome gift, it's from the entire planning party. And I was a little confused because okay. I thought that y'all, too, were planning it. So you're not thankful for the gift? No, no, no. That was a gift from me personally to all of you, which, as and a host, you. I that is that. what I do. So this is your trip? No, no, this is our trip. So let me ask you this. You're the host. What is Sharice? I'm so confused. I'm lost. If there's any confusion, I'll say it again. Cherise, she's not hosting a damn thing. I find it extremely insulting. I've never put a welcome basket in someone's room and they're like, well, why didn't somebody else sign it? I've never met women more difficult to gift in my entire life. You're not understanding our confusion. I'm trying to figure out how we went from you and Cherise hosting this together what should you try since you they don't understand right. what I'm saying? Why don't you try and explain right. it? I'm, I'm trying to understand it myself. Well, when I asked Cherise to assist me, she you know, said she's no one's assistant. Life. She's <laughs> never been anyone's <laughs> assistant. So I fired her. She's delusional. Oh. You're delusional. <laughs> so we're doing introductions? We did. Okay. We did. OK, no. Wait a minute. That we must did. be Herman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm confused, though. So are, are you Mr. Miami? <laughs> Are you? He's not. not he's not. He's from Maryland. Oh. You do not refer to anyone by their name unless you know their name. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm so Which sorry. Which one was that? Was, was that the one before oh, me? You? How many dates did he get? I don't, I don't discuss that. Oh, I don't discuss that. okay. I'm dating a guy who I refer to as Mr. Miami, but he's not the only one. My dating doesn't just stop in Miami. I mean, I'm national, international, worldwide, about to blow up, baby. I, Karen ain't right. Karen. She ain't right I'm right sorry. Now. I'm Karen, sorry. Right right I'm sorry. I, I'm Karen. Nice you need to mingle. Nice you need to nice mingle, Karen. Karen. Yeah. I'm just like, oh my god. I thought it was Mr. Miami, oh, right? Where, where should I sit? I don't want to mess that up. On the corner, so I can kick you out quick. Sit your ass down. Karen, shouldn't I be welcomed all over the home? No, you had a year. Up, no, so it's, it's, no. Are we but cursing? Forgiven. Are we cursing right now? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let me sit my little butt down. Now I want to say the cookies were good. Your babies cooked that. Yes. Okay. Um, you know, you needed to be in timeout. Your behavior was deplorable. Deplorable. Yes. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna allow you to read everything that's on the back of my shirt. What is that? Hey, Uncle Ben. Tax reform. Oh. Giselle, you tacky as hell. Ray you wants know, to be really... with Erica Lyles for a night. Bless oh, girl, please. We Bless all know that. Me. No, we don't know Anytime that. Anytime Ray's around hey. Erica, he leaves you in the dust. I had to sit back and say, look, how do I move forward? Do okay. I want to move forward? And my thing was, I thought about that long and hard, and I wasn't sure, and I'm still. You didn't miss me? 
when I was grieving, you, you, you held me in your arms, okay? And honestly, I was so deep in grief, I didn't know it was you initially. So you okay. hadn't done anything before that moment that reminded me of the friendship we had before. I realized that I'm not as, um, what's the word, um, compassionate. Oh, we know that. I could have told you, girl, <laughs> I know you're not compassionate. I'm working on total compassion. I have I a good therapist. I, actually, I'm in therapy, thank you. Are you? I am. First Katie, now Karen. Dr. Ken told me I need to be more sensitive. Giselle is A++ when it comes to sensitivity. I have come a long way. Is it because of Sherman? I don't think I should be talking about Sherman with you, since Why you're not? really good friends with his ex-wife. I'm asking about you, though. I'm good. I'm in therapy. Potomac is small. I'm not surprised that they're not together. Nobody in Potomac is surprised that they're not together. I think Sherman left the party before Giselle did. And I'm not the only one that thinks that. As a woman, though, I would have been pissed. Who told you? People called me. I shop in the same places the Sherman shops in. It wasn't Giselle that was with him in Saks. I'm just saying. We good? 